City Clerk. I hear none. We will now take up our discussion items. Clerk, please introduce item 333. Item 333, adopting a resolution denouncing xenophobia and anti-Asian racism arising due to fears of the COVID-19 pandemic and affirming its commitment to the well-being and safety of Asian Pacific Islander communities. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the conference at this This point. conference is unlocked. So the public comment period for item 333 is now open. Please call 619-541-6310, conference ID 877-861-POUND to be placed in the queue. Just let us know how much time would you need? Seven minutes, please. You got it. Good morning, Council President Gomez and members of the City Council. Uh, my name is Matt Yagyagan with the Office of the Council President, and with me today is Sana Luando from Council District 9. Today we have the pleasure of presenting Item 333 for your consideration, a resolution to denounce xenophobia and anti-Asian racism arising due to fears of the COVID-19 pandemic and affirming the City's commitment to the well-being and safety of Asian Pacific Islander communities. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, there are 440,000 Asian Pacific Islanders in San Diego County, comprising nearly one in seven residents in our county. There are 253,000 Asian Pacific Islanders in the city of San Diego, comprising one in five residents in the city. There are also 30,000 API-owned businesses across the region and the Asian Pacific Islander community, a diverse community representing over two dozen countries across East and Southeast Asia, the Indian subcontinent, Polynesia, Melanesia, and Micronesia, with unique cultures, languages, histories, and immigration patterns, is part of our local and regional fabric. As COVID-19 has spread, there have been numerous reports of Asian Pacific Islanders experiencing microaggressions, racial profiling, hate incidents, and in some cases, hate violence due to fears of COVID-19. In response, the Asian Pacific Policy and Planning Council and Chinese for Affirmative Action created an online reporting center titled Stop AAPI Hate to quantify and combat hate crimes targeting Asian Pacific Islanders. As of May 13th, 2020, Stop AAPI Hate received nearly 2,000 reports of hate acts across 45 states and the District of Columbia. The report shows 28 cases of anti-Asian Pacific Islander acts in San Diego County reported from March 19th to April 29th, 2020, including incidents of verbal harassment, shunning, and physical assault. 21 of these reports were located in the city of San Diego, and the latest report is attached to the backup on the agenda for your reference. On April 9th, 2020, the Asian Pacific Islander community in San Diego responded to these acts. Due to the escalating concerns over the COVID-19 pandemic, over 50 Asian and Pacific Islander organizations and community leaders issued a joint letter denouncing the racist attacks, discrimination, and xenophobia on the API community. This statement has now garnered support from 153 local organizations and hundreds of individuals across our region. In this letter, the groups call upon the community at large to avoid the use of harmful language, including labels such as China coronavirus, Chinese coronavirus, and Wuhan virus, when defining a global pandemic afflicting humanity as a whole. The groups also encourage anyone who has fallen victim to a hate act or a witness to one to report the incident to authorities and, to, and the Stop AAPI Hate Reporting Center. With all this said, we are happy to collaborate, collaborate with these community organizations and community leaders to introduce the resolution that is uh, before you today for your consideration, and I will turn it over to Sana to go over key points in the resolution. Thank you, Matt. So the resolution before you today includes the following 10 commitments. The city denounces xenophobia and anti-API sentiment and condemns harmful rhetoric and racist acts arising due to the fears of the COVID-19 pandemic. The city joins cities, counties, and states across the country in affirming its commitment to the safety and well-being of citizens, non-citizens, and visitors with ancestry from the Asia-Pacific region and in combating racist acts targeting APIs. 
The City Council encourages the City to partner with community-based organizations, advocacy groups, as well as other appropriate officials and agencies across the country to protect API residents and victims of discrimination and to curb hate acts related to COVID-19 for other groups, including but not limited to Black, Latinx, Indigenous, Muslim, Jewish, and LGBTQIA communities and people with disabilities. The City Council recommends that city staff link the Stop AAPI Hate Reporting Center on the city's website to join the national effort of documenting and combating anti-API discrimination. The City Council encourages the city to partner with the County of San Diego, healthcare providers, and community-based organizations to educate the public on mental health services for those who have been traumatized or otherwise stigmatized by anti-API hate. The City Council encourages city staff to work with the San Diego Human Relations Commission in documenting and investigating incidents of anti-API racism and promote respect for all residents and businesses in public areas. The City Council encourages city departments to ensure that all information, such as public health information and emergency and disaster relief resources, is disseminated effectively to limited English proficient communities. The City Council encourages city departments to ensure that eligible minority-owned and disadvantaged small businesses have fair access to the city's resources, such as the Small Business Relief Fund, and can be directed to language assistance when needed. The City Council urges the city to partner with community-based organizations to highlight API stories and uplift the contributions of API-owned businesses and API-led organizations. Finally, the city calls upon all counties, cities, and local governments across the United States to adopt similar commitments to reaffirm their solidarity with API communities and commit to combating hate and improving health equity. The requested action today is that the city council adopt a resolution to denounce xenophobia and anti-Asian racism arising due to fears of the COVID-19 pandemic and affirming the city's commitment to the well-being and safety of Asian Pacific Islander communities. There are two letters of support attached to the backup of this item, one from the San Diego API Coalition with over 43 organizational signatories, and another from Assemblymember Todd Gloria, who is a member of the California API Caucus. This concludes our presentation, and we are available for questions. Thank you. Um, Clerk, please proceed with public comment. Yes, we have 38 speakers that are in the queue. Again, these are for this is for item 333. You'll each have one minute when you're unmuted. Just please make your statement. Abdullah Ibrahim. We'll go to our next public speaker, Margaret Adams. Margaret Adams. Ali um, Kia. Hi, um, my name is Sarah. I'm calling to ask the city council reject Mayor Faulkner's proposal to increase the police budget. I'm Mayor sorry, Faulkner's ma'am, that's non-agenda public uh, comment. Proposal calls for that's not non-agenda public comment. The first 30 minutes were already taken. Please monitor the meeting. That will be taken at the end of the meeting. Right now, this is comment on item 333 only. Bula Ibrahim. Hello. Yes, please make your statement for item 333. We'll go to our next speaker, Amir Azar. Hi, um, I do recognize that this 
is uh, regarding Movement 333, um, you know, denouncing xenophobia in the API community. But I just want to say um, a denouncement without actual action, which is defunding uh, the police and rejecting Mayor Faulkner's uh, proposal, it's not going to do the denouncement by itself is not going to do much for the API community. Um, so I urge you to consider uh, more material action in regards to the budget, which is where we can truly help uh, people who are being hurt by uh, police and not receiving the safety and other considerations that they really need. I think that this denouncement should go through. I just urge you to consider your action in addition. Thank you very much. Please hang up your phone. Let me just clarify. So this is about the resolution. It's not tied to any funding. We're not going to change that today. So if people can please honor what we're trying to do today and speak to the resolution, either stand on and denouncing the xenophobia and the anti-Asian racism that has been arising. That is the public comment that we're taking right now. So I appreciate the public's participation. I truly do. But let's try to honor what's in front of us right now and let's not miss what we're trying to do today. So I really just ask the speakers that are waiting to speak, speak to that and that only. Thank you. Daniel Beeman is our next speaker. Yes, thank you very much. This is a very important to me. The reason why is as a, I was a mentor when I was at Marquette University to Hong Kong students, to Hong Kong students. And I also campaigned with and for Mitz Lee who is now uh, head of the Mira Mesa Senior Center. And I helped um, Steph Gross, who I think is now on the Human, Human Relations Committee as chair. I have understand this in my life because I've been poor and seen lots of minority people regularly abused just because of what they look like without even ever knowing who these people are. These are important people. We have a chance to make a change. I ask that the president, the um, council president, set up a city council one fund that um, organizations and that businesses can fund so that we can do things to move these 10 commitments forward because everything takes a little bit of money and we need the help. Thank you, sir. Your time has expired. If you would hang up your phone, we'll go to the next public speaker. We have 45 people in the queue. Again, this is on item 333. Yes, I agree in denouncing item 333. Thank you. If that concludes your comments, please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. We have 45 people on the line. Carlos Estrada. We'll go to the next public speaker. Eric Joyce. Eric Joyce. Ahmed Nawabi. Hi, my name is Alina Jun, and I am Central Asian Afghan American, and I stand with the San Diego Asian Pacific Islander Coalition to support the resolution denouncing xenophobia and anti-Asian racism due to the fears of the COVID-19 pandemic and affirming the city of San Diego's commitment to the well-being and safety of the API community. I am also very disheartened by the ways communities of colors are suffering from COVID-19, especially the disproportionate infection and deaths amongst the African Americans, Latinos, Native Americans, and Native Hawaiians. I also want to take this moment to acknowledge the tragic deaths of unarmed black individuals in recent months, George Floyd, and other individuals. Their deaths were not caused by a biological virus, but by an insidious social virus of anti-black bias and racism that have infected our nation Thank since Thank you. Your time family. has expired. And it is still Please spreading. Please hang up your phone. We'll take speakers again. This is on item 333. 
We'll take our next speaker, Carlos Sandoval. Yes, hi. Uh, I am calling to enthusiastically approve of item 333 to denounce anti-Asian racism um, due to fears of the COVID-19 pandemic. I think it's important for everyone who is listening in right now and everyone who's left in the queue, particularly those who are waiting to talk about um, rejecting the police budget to enthusiastically stand with our AAPI brothers and sisters um, who are experiencing a lot of uh, anti-Asian sentiment um, in their communities. So I urge those who are currently on the call and in, in the queue and uh, others who are watching to call and enthusiastically um, endorse item 333 so that our um, AAPI community knows that we're behind them too. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone and we'll go to the next public speaker. We have 47 speakers still in the queue. Our next speaker is Eric Chale. Hi, I'm calling because I do approve of this. Unfortunately, for the non-agenda items, there was limited to 30 callers. I'm calling because I feel like racism in our communities is a multi issue and it starts with the defunding of police and reallocating those funds to COVID-19 relief for Asian American communities. A lot of our people of color communities have been adversely impacted by COVID-19 relief and the COVID-19 relief funds that have been available for people have, have been exhausted and many small business owners are not getting the correct relief that they need and many renters as well asian american and other are not getting the proper relief that they need from rent and other bills due to covid 19. i believe that we should defund the police and take that and reallocate the funds to putting it towards thank you your time is expired that, that will help our citizens asian we have 50 callers on the line again this is for item 333 if you're Speaking to a non-agenda item, please monitor the meeting. There will be an opportunity at the end of the agendized items to call in for a non-agenda public comment if you did not get to speak this morning. An Lee. Hello? Yes, please make your statement. Most definitely. Hi, my name is Edward Johnson, and I would like to also approve to item 333. Um, our Asian Pacific brothers need our help as well. So I hope everyone else listening in up on the call, y'all kind of pay attention to what's taking place right now. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone and we'll go to another public speaker. Our next speaker, Ernesto Aguilar. Hi, my name is Valerie Garcia Hom. Um, I'm an attorney and a San Diego small business owner and a mother of two girls in Uni San Diego Unified. I wanted to call to urge the city council to adopt the resolution regarding agenda item number 333. Um, we've got to fight against anti-Asian hate due to the fear of COVID-19. And by adopting this resolution, we're asking the city council to, stop, uh, to actually add the Stop AAPI Hate Reporting Center to the city's website so we can actually document and fight this discrimination. We really need our local leadership to do the right thing, and this includes fighting the stigmas that come with this biological virus and the social viruses of racism that is killing black people. So I, as leaders of our city council, I'm asking you to address these injustices, to address the rental assistance for people of color, including item 501 led by council member Ward. Thank you, and I appreciate the time. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Again, at item 333, we have 52 speakers in the queue. Hi, my name is um, Haley Aguilar. I'm calling in support of um, denouncing xenophobia, especially against our Asian Pacific um, Islander community here as well as our other minority communities that have been negatively impacted by COVID-19 and uh, associated racism, housing crises, um, access to health care, et cetera. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker on item 333. We have 53 callers 
in the queue. Anna Chambers. Uh, hello, my name is uh, David Chambers. I was calling in regards to item 333 in uh, approving to adopt a resolution to denounce xenophobia uh, and, and anti-Asian racism arising due to fears of COVID-19. Um, and in addition to this, I think this goes hand in hand with the other topic uh, as far as uh, defunding the police and acting Mayor Faulkner to, uh, to reject uh, the proposal to increase the police budget that's not agenda public comment, sir. Please monitor services. the meeting, and you can call back during non-agenda public comment. Right now, we're taking comment on item 333 only. Brandon Summer. Hi. I wanted to vote yes on item 333 to adopt this resolution. I think it's important especially since a lot of like these people are members of our community and they grew up here they shouldn't be subjected to this type of like hatred and they shouldn't be fearful like of being judged for no reason thank you please hang up your phone and we'll go to the next public speaker we have 55 callers in the queue our next speaker is Melissa Gonzalez. Melissa. Hello, my name is Melissa, and I wanted to say that I fervently support um, Right now, a lot of people of color are being disproportionately affected by COVID-19, especially um, Asians, and we need to pass this in order to ensure the safety of our brothers and sisters. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker on item 333 only, please. Gina Watkins. Hi, my name is uh, Mia Watkins. Hello? Yes, please make your statement. Hi, yes, I'm calling to support uh, item, 33, uh, item 333. I stand in support of the Asian Pacific um, Asian American and Pacific Islander uh, group. Uh, the discrimination against uh, this group is wrong. It shouldn't have happened. It's terrible. And I say this as an ally. I hope that uh, we can continue to support this community um, as um, we combat these uh, racist comments and statements that are made against them. I say this as my best attempt at being an ally to this community. And uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll take the next public speaker on item 333. We have 55 people in the queue. Carol Kim. Carol Kim, you've been unmuted. Hi, uh, my name is Carol Kim. Um, I'm calling to speak in support of item 333, the resolution to support the Asian American Pacific Islander community during this COVID crisis with the, um, in regards to the discrimination that they're facing. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. We have 52 people in the queue. We'll go to our next speaker, Larry Dixon. Hello, this is Ahmad Dixon. Um, I am a voter as well as a biracial individual. I'm African American and Japanese American. So I want to enthusiastically denounce xenophobia and I feel like the city council should also do that. But I also feel that Asian Americans have been the victim of state sanctioned violence and I saw state sanctioned violence this weekend. So I am enthusiastically asking the city council to defund the police. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker on item 333 only, please. Our next speaker is from Good Seed Creation. The caller at Good Seed Creation, you've been unmuted. We'll go to the next public speaker. Is 
Samantha Brown. Hi, my name is Samantha Brown and I'm calling from District 3. I approve item 333 to announce um, Asian American racism, Asian racism, and Pacific Islander race, racism, and other minorities affected by COVID-19. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. We have 50 callers still in the queue. Our next speaker is C. Guerrero. Looks like they hung up, so we'll go to um, Gary Viggy. Hi, my name is Robin, and uh, I am also a biracial uh, member of the community here in San Diego. And I would like to just voice my concern and defund the police with everything going on. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Our next public speaker is Duncan Lesford. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, Lesford Duncan, Senior Director of Programs with Outdoor Outreach, and just wanted to express my support for denouncing um, discrimination against Asian Americans, uh, both as a black man, um, I, I support communities of color and people of color that are experiencing discrimination, um, but also as a leader of a nonprofit organization here in San Diego that serves 10% or close to 10% uh, Asians who stand in solidarity uh, with our youth and with our communities um, in denouncing that racism. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We're taking public testimony on item 333 only right now. We have 45 speakers in the queue. Our next speaker is Carlos Estrada. You've been unmuted. Please make your statement. Hi, my name is Brooke Benedicts, and I'm a resident of San Diego, and I am asking for the San Diego City Council to defund the police. That's a non-agenda public comment. Please monitor the meeting and call back at the appropriate time. We're taking testimony only right now on item 333. We have 45 people in the queue. Hani Musa is our next speaker. We'll go to our next speaker. Again, item 333 only. If you wish to speak on non-agenda public comment and you did not speak this morning, that will be at the end of the agendized items. Vin Heap. Hello. Please make your statement. Hello, my name is Helen Vin. My name is Helen Vin, and I'm calling from District 51, and I'm urging the City Council to adopt the proposed item 343. The alarming rise in anti-Asian sentiment, as well as the grotesquely disproportionate rate at which Black, Indigenous, and Latinx Americans are dying amidst this pandemic, demonstrates how intertwined we are in the struggle against systematic racism. So, no apparel for Black power, cancel the rent, and defend the police now. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. Again, we're taking testimony on item 333 only at this time. The next speaker is Antonio Ilaria on item 333. Hi, my name is Hannah Ilaria. I'm a Filipino American living in San Diego. San Diego is comprised of a large community of Asian Pacific Islanders, and I urge City Council to approve item 333. We need to fight the stigma on this virus, and I urge you to use your platform for good. You're a domino in the fund of systemic racism, so please use your platform to speak up for API family. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll take the next public speaker. We have 42 people still in the queue to speak on item 333. Our next speaker is Ryan Hill. Hello. Please make your statement. Yes, uh, my name is Rihanna. I am. I live in District Three in San Diego, and I'm calling uh, in support of Item Three 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 that is currently being discussed, um, adopting a resolution to denounce xenophobia 
and anti-Asian racism due to fears of COVID-19. Um, I, I very strongly support this, and I believe that this cannot be in conversation without also acknowledging that the police needs to be defunded here in San Diego in order to acknowledge the value of lives of all persons of color, ranging from Asians to black people, as I am a black woman. And I think that we cannot have a conversation like this and ignore uh, the aggressive police and racist police presence um, here in San Diego that is biased against persons of color. Thank you. Please hang up Thank your you. phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Again, these should be comments on item 333 only. Item 333 only. Hi, my name is Ishan Abdullahi with Mass Case, and I strongly support this resolution and stand in solidarity with my AAP and my community. The pandemic has exacerbated many of the social inequities that we knew existed, including the hate, the xenophobia that has been directed towards our AAPI community. So passing this resolution is a step forward in making it very clear that San Diego will not tolerate xenophobia or racism of any kind. And as a black Somali refugee, I know too well the pain and violence of hate. Please denounce xenophobia and adopt this resolution. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker on item 333. We have 45 people still in the queue. Our next speaker is Hui Tran. Hi, my name is Zhang Wei. I'm Big Vote, and I'm a Vietnamese and as president of San Diego. I fully support the resolution to denounce the xenophobia and anti-Asian racism due to the fears of COVID-19 pandemic. And I also want to take the moment also to um, recognize that there is the tragic deaths of unarmed black individuals and other community of color also suffering um, racism as well. We need to do better. This is not just even about the, the Asian and the API community. This is also about all the community that facing racism at this point. So by adopting this solution, I urge the council to join in the effort of denouncing racism today. Um, it's time for us to make a statement. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker on item 333, Alexis Ball. Hi, um, my name is Alexis Ball, and I am a mixed American um, in San Diego. Um, and I would like to ask for um, the county to consider defunding the police, you know, due to heavy racism. Sorry, um, that's a non-agenda public comment protesting. item, Ms. Ball. Please monitor the meeting. You can call back during non-agenda public comment. Right now we're taking public testimony on item 333 only. We have 45 people still in the queue. James Park is our next speaker. Hello, my name is Lacey Ward, and I would like to make a statement in support of item um, 333. Racism is systematically embedded in this country, and without action, such as adopting a resolution denouncing xenophobia and anti-Asian racism, we continue to perpetuate the hate in our city and in our country. With our communities finally understanding the concept of white privilege, we need to show the community that our city is working to end systematic racism that benefits the white and wealthy to show support of color. Adopting a resolution denouncing xenophobia and anti-Asian racism arising due to the fears of COVID-19 will help to um, make Asian feel more comfortable in this community that they are a part of as well. Thank you for taking the time to listen. I hope you address all issues of racism that are affecting this city. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. The next public speaker is Good Seed Creations again. Good Seed Creations. Hello. Um, and I wanted to vote in favor of resolution 333. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Our next public speaker is Janice Miller.
Um, my name is Liana Miller, and as a member of the AAPI community, I would like to voice my support for this bill and hope that we see the same institutional and legislative support for our own siblings of the black community. Asian Americans have a responsibility to help us with uplift black communities, and we cannot do so if we are not given a safe, safe space to exist in the first place. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Our next public speaker is Janelle Kirkald. Janelle Kirkald. Hi, good morning. My name is Janelle Kirkaldi. I'm calling in um, support of 333, and I'm just asking City Council um, to stand with our AAPI community and stand against anti-Asian racism. Um, we just need to denounce racism altogether and just really come together as a community and support each other. Um, so yeah, City Council, please support 333 and just denounce racism, especially towards um, people of color and our um, AAPI community. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. And uh, please, only speakers on, who have not spoken yet on item 333, if you're trying to speak on non-agenda public comment, please call back during that appropriate time. Your call will not be taken until non-agenda public comment. We have uh, 37 speakers uh, still in the queue for item 333. Um, we'll go to our next speaker, Esther Gvashny. Hello, I'm Ariella Kavashny. I am in District 1. I am speaking in favor for Item 333, denouncing xenophobia and anti-Asian racism. I think it would be a shame to neglect the fact that racism in our city has also stemmed from police brutality, and I would like to defund the police. As much as you say this isn't related, it is related. And we need to stand up for our AAPI community, as well as the black, Latino, and all minorities. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Our next public speaker is listed as from La Mesa, California. Hi. Um, I am asking to defund the police department. There's a lot of racism. Sorry, ma'am. That's, that's a non-agenda public comment item. We're taking te public testimony on item 333 right now. Please monitor the meeting. You can call back to speak on a non-agenda item at the conclusion of the agendized item. Please only be in the queue right now if you have not yet spoken to item 333 or you wish to speak to item 333. Our next speaker is Laura Smith. Hello. Yes, please make your statement for item 333. Hi, yes. Um, when we live in a country where our leader of the United States says that the U.S. will be powerfully supporting those industries like airlines and others that are particularly affected by the Chinese virus, who will be stronger than ever before, unfortunately leads from a top-down perspective of that promotes xenophobia and anti-Asian racism, and I am asking that we are, that, I, that we support um, adopting this resolution, item 333. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We still have 35 speakers in the queue to speak to item 333. We'll take our next speaker, Angel Johnson. Hi, um, my name is Johnson coming from San Diego, California. Being born and raised in California and being in impoverished communities, I've seen countless uh, forms of police brutality upon my community and would love to see Act 333 enacted uh, to defund the police and in order to create a redefinition of public safety and how those protocols are met. and really just deconstructing these aged out methods of how the police maintain order within the public because at this point it's just police finding a reason. Um, thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. 
Again, this, is, this should only be a testimony for item 333. If you wish to speak to a non-agenda item that will be taken at the conclusion of the agendized items, please monitor the meeting so that you can call back at the appropriate time. We'll take our next speaker. Kevin Hall. Hello. Yes, please make your statement on item 333. Hi, my name is Megan O'Flaherty. I live in District 2. Um, I wanted to enthusiastically support item 333. Um, and I also wanted my, to encourage my representative, uh, Dr. Jen Campbell, to please uh, motion to move more funding to AAPI businesses that have lost money due to xenophobia and racism after the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you. Please hang up your phone and we'll go to the next public speaker. We still have 37 speakers in the queue to speak to item 333. Our next speaker. Diego Jimenez. Looks like he hung up. We'll go to our next speaker. Kent Lee. Hi, my name is Kent Lee. I'm the executive director of the Pacific Arts Movement, as well as a member of the San Diego Asian Pacific Islander Coalition. I um, wanted to start by sharing our gratitude for the City Council's consideration of this critical resolution denouncing xenophobia and anti-Asian racism uh, due to the fears of the COVID-19 pandemic. And on behalf of more than 45 local API serving community organizations, the San Diego Asian Pacific Islander Coalition um, expresses our wholehearted support for the resolution, and we ask that each of you help to vote um, yes today. Uh, the coalition also continues to call for the San Diego community to be vigilant against acts of hate and to stand together in calling out incidents directed not only towards APIs, but also those inflicted upon Black, Latinx, Indigenous, Muslim, Jewish, and LGBTQIA communities, as well as people with disabilities each and every day. Um, we understand this is also just one step in the great picture, and we look forward to working with each of you towards building a stronger, more compassionate, more conclusive San Diego. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We still have 40 speakers in the queue. These are on item 333. We'll go to our next public speaker, Dave Curtis. Oh, is it me? Please make your statement. Okay, I'm sorry, I thought I was further in the queue. Um, I would like to support item 333, um, of course, denouncing this form of racism, but I also think that it's a little obtuse to be pretending to denounce racism without reducing funding for the police. Um, I think it's very obvious they've been misusing a lot of the funding they're this using. This item does not have anything that to they do have. with funding, sir, so please save those comments for non-agenda public comment. You can call back during the appropriate time if you wish to speak to that item. Right now, this is just on the resolution before us on item 333. We'll go to our next public speaker. Dina Andre. Looks like they hung up. Um, a phone number listed to It's Magic. If not, we'll go to our next speaker. Uh, Gina Diaz. Hello, my name is Joel Paola, and I live in District 6. Um, I wanted to endorse item 333 and denounce xenophobia and anti-Asian racism um, arising due to fears of COVID-19. Um, while I want to express solidarity toward the um, Asian Pacific Islander community, I would also like to um, ask that the committee also recognize um, the link between um, this xenophobia and um, anti-Asian racism, as well as racism towards all other marginalized and um, communities of color, um, including the black community, Latinx community, and indigenous communities. Um, and that includes as well the um, links between um, police brutality, um, 
Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Again, this should be comments directed at item 333 only. Looks like um, the folks at It's Magic are back on the line. Please make your statement. Hello. Yes, please make your statement. Hi, yes. Um, so I just want to call because I feel like it's super important uh, that everyone there understands that we need the police um, to be on our side. We we think that what has been going on Sorry, is Sorry, ma'am, that sounds like it's community. a non-agenda public comment. Non-agenda public comment. 30 minutes were taken at the beginning of the meeting, but please monitor the meeting. If you did not get a chance to speak this morning, you can call back at the conclusion of the agendized item. Right now, this should be testimony only on item 333. We'll go to our next public speaker on item 333 only, please. Brooke Benedicts. Hi, my name is Brooke Benedicts, and I would like to show my enthusiastic support of item 333, adopting a resolution denouncing xenophobia and anti-Asian anti racism arising due to fears of COVID-19 pandemic and affirming commitment to the well-being and safety of Asian Pacific Islander communities. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. We still have 30 folks still in the queue to speak on item 333. John Caralios. John Caralios, you've been unmuted. We'll go to the next public speaker. Olga Lopez. Olga Lopez. Hi, my name is Juan Lopez and I live in District 9. I'm, I'm calling in support of uh, 333, denouncing xenophobia and anti-racism due to fears of COVID-19. I think it's important the city council helps protect and uplift our communities of color. That's why I also recommend the city council to reject Mayor Faulkner's increase to police increase to the police budget and divert that money to other countless social causes in our community. Thank Please you, Please don't sir. fail the city and the citizens you represent. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Again, these should be comments only on item 333. It's about a resolution. There are no funding issues. Our next speaker is Micah Francisco or Francisco Micah. Good afternoon, council members. My name is Trin Lay. I am with the Asian Solidarity Collective and I live in District 3. As a Vietnamese American, I stand with the San Diego Asian Pacific Islander Coalition to support this resolution, denouncing xenophobia and anti-Asian racism due to the fears of the COVID-19 pandemic and affirming the city of San Diego's commitment to the well-being and safety of the API community. I am also very disheartened by the ways communities of color are suffering from COVID-19, especially the disproportionate infections and deaths among African Americans, African immigrants, Latinos, Indigenous folks, and Pacific Islanders. I also want to take this moment to acknowledge the tragic deaths of unarmed black individuals in recent months, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Amon Arbery. As a community, yes, we should stand up for against anti-Asian racism, and we should also speak up and take action against the unjust murders of black people that's happening every day in this country. Thank you to Council President Georgette Gomez and Council Member Monica Montgomery for bringing this resolution to Thank you. Your time Council. has expired. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to our next public speaker. Again, the speaker should only be speaking to item 333. If you have a non-agenda public comment, you can call back during the appropriate time, which would be when the agendized items are complete. We will go to our next public speaker, Mike Pham. Hi, my name is Van Pham, and I'm Vietnamese American. I'm calling from District 7. I stand with the San Diego Asian Pacific Islander Coalition to support the resolution to denounce xenophobia and anti-Asian racism due to the fears of COVID-19. I also want to recognize how this virus is disproportionately infecting African Americans, Latinos, Native Americans, and Native Hawaiians. 
I believe that all oppressions and racial injustices of all people are intertwined. So I'd like to take this moment to acknowledge the tragic deaths of <coughs> the tragic deaths of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. We have 30 people still in the queue. Remember, this is testimony in item 333 only. If you have a non-agenda comment, please monitor the meeting and call back during the appropriate time. Melanie Hernandez? Looks like they hung up. Geraldi. Israel Flores Palma. You've been unmuted. Did you have a statement on item 333? Hi, my name is Michael Matsuno. I'm a Japanese American living in District 3. I'm calling to voice my support for item 333, denouncing racism towards Asian Pacific Islander communities. This resolution is symbolic and important, but it is the bare minimum. Denouncing racism is the bare minimum this body can do. If you want to support our API community, if you want to support the vulnerable, if you want to support this resolution, I urge you to please support the Emergency Rental Assistance Program and amend the budget to increase police uh, to increase the police budget. These are all directly related. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Our next public speaker is Andreas Aseguero. Good afternoon. My name is Shane Oseguera. I just want to fully support my API community, as well as Black, Latinx, Muslim, Jewish, Indigenous, and minority communities. Therefore, I am urging the Council to approve item 333, as well as stress the importance of rejecting Mayor Falconer's proposal and defund the police. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Our next public speaker is uh, Rosa Arisa. Hello, my name is Melissa Grasso. I'd like to call in favor of item 333 in support of our Asian Pacific Islander community. I'd like to denounce the um, anti-Asian rhetoric that has been spread due to fears of COVID-19 pandemic, such as the Chinese virus rhetoric that was spread by Trump and his many supporters. I would like to ask for disciplinary action to be taken on uh, members of our city council or members of our community, including police officers or other people that are meant to protect our community, that prove to have white supremacist values or values that are harmful to smaller and smaller communities that are communities of color, specifically the Asian community and other small ones. I appreciate your time and your efforts, and I hope that action is taken because this is all related. And I know that many people have been calling um, to detest the police, but they do have prevalent racism against Asian Pacific communities and other small communities. Specifically Thank you. The black your time has expired. Have Please attacked. hang up your phone, and we'll go to the next public speaker. Our next public speaker is Sunny Chang. Hello, I'm Sunny Chang, and as an Asian American living in San Diego and working with a diverse population of youth at our nonprofit Outdoor Outreach, I want to voice my support of item 333 as it is highly important for our community and especially our youth of color to feel safe and see the actions and support from City Council on this item. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone and we'll go to the next public speaker. We have 25 speakers still in the queue. For item 333, Joan Bryson.
Joan Bryson, you've been unmuted. Looks like she hung up. We'll go to a, the next speaker. The phone is listed to Poway, California. Hello, my name is Andrew Obwan, a Filipino-American and a resident in District 5. I vote for my support in item 333 for denouncing xenophobia and anti-Asian racism arising due to fear of the COVID-19 pandemic. I agree with the speaker, a speaker before. This is a step in the right direction in re removing racism. This needs to happen and start removing any form of racism. You should set a precedent, precedent to other cities to encourage the stop of any form of racism. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Our next speaker is Robert Ravel. Robert Ravel. Hello. Please make your statement. Hi, I'm calling to announce my support for the resolution denouncing xenophobia and anti-Asian racism. Um, it has been discouraging and disheartening to see the racism and hate viewed towards Asian Americans at this time that has stemmed from the pandemic, and even more enraging to have seen government leaders and officials, such as our own president in some instances, directly or indirectly, encouraging these acts of hate. And as a community, we need to actively discourage hate crimes, racism, xenophobia, and work on prosecuting racial attacks against Asians and people of Asian descent. We need to do better. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. We still have 23 people in the queue. You've been unmuted. Good afternoon, Council President. Good afternoon, Council President Gomez and Council members. My name is Jason Paggio, President and CEO of the Asian Business Association and part of the San Diego Asian Pacific Islander Coalition. On behalf of our organization and the Strategic Alliance comprised of the Central San Diego Black Chamber of Commerce, the San Diego County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, and the Asian Business Association, we are in solidarity supporting this resolution, standing together, especially during this recent tragic uh, events affecting our Black community. Uh, we're appreciative of your support for this item, and thank you for helping build a more inclusive San Diego. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. The next public speaker is listed as Stephen Dorch. Yes, hello, this is um, Stephen Dortch. I'm new to San Diego, but I do support item 333 in its totality. And looking over the presentation, I, um, it's good to see that we have some allies as far as Black Lives Matter is concerned. I feel like this is a step in the right direction. And if we do have another spike with COVID, I feel as though the, um, the API community will be on the front line of any racism or discrimination as we highlighted before. So I'm in full support of this and I hope that it sees itself through and we continue to progress. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone and we'll go to the next public speaker. We still have 20 people in the queue. Our next speaker is uh, Trinidad Ali or Ali Trinidad. Trinidad Ali, you've been unmuted. If not, we'll go to the next public speaker. Our next public speaker is Mohamed Usipur. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Mohamed Usipur. I fully support item 333. I think racism in any and every form should always be denounced. Also, I think we should denounce any federal servants who have displayed any racial bias or have any connections to racial racist organizations. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. The next public speaker is listed as Elizabeth Vales. Elizabeth, you've been unmuted. If not, we'll go to the next public speaker who's listed simply as a wireless caller. Uh, hello. 
Yes. Uh, my name is Leanne Kim, and as an immigrant from South Korea and voter in District 6, I would like to express my full support for Agenda Item 333. I want to thank Council President Georgette Gomez and Council Member Monica Montgomery for bringing this resolution to Council. Uh, I am disappointed and regret that the only Asian American on Council, Chris Tate, is not there today to support this resolution and to be in solidarity with us. I recognize that the resolution does not create policy, but what it does do is create a sense of security during a fraught time for our city leaders to publicly take a stand affirming your commitment to the well-being and safety of our AAPI communities is telling us that you have our back, and that's really meaningful. And while this resolution focuses on AAPIs, the sentiment of this resolution extends to our brothers and sisters in the, in the Black, Latinx, Native American, and Native Hawaiian communities who have been disproportionately affected Thank during you. this pandemic. Thank you. Your May the killings of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Ahmaud Please Arbery not hang up your phone. Your time has concluded. Thank you for calling in. We'll go to the next public speaker, Amy Mason. Amy Mason. Oh, hi. Um, I was calling to discuss a non-agenda item. Yes, um, that non-agenda public comment will be taken at the conclusion of the agendized item, so please monitor the meeting and call in when that period opens for public testimony. Right now, this is public testimony on item 333 only. So if you're still in the queue, we have 20 people still in the queue, you should be speaking to item 333 only. Hello, my name is MJ. I'm calling from the Barrio Logan District. I'm calling to ask City Council to reject our mayor's proposal to increase the police budget. I'm sorry, ma'am, that's a non-agenda public comment item. We took 30 minutes at the beginning of the meeting and we will take more non-agenda at the conclusion of the agendized items, but this is item 333 right now. We're taking public testimony only on item 333. Please, if you're speaking to non-agenda public comment, call back in at the appropriate time. Grieger Aspen. Hi, my name is Simone Caliente Neighbors. I'm calling um, regarding the item S501. Um, I would like- I'm Sorry, ma'am, that item advocate. has not been called yet. We're on item 333. Please monitor the meeting. Oh. And when that item is called, it sure. will be open for public testimony and you can call back then. Right now we're oh, taking public testimony time. on item 333 only. So if you're in the phone queue right now, we have 20 people in the queue. You should be only in the queue to speak to item 333. Wireless caller, you've been unmuted. Item 333. Hi, my name is Samuel Choi, and I live in District 2. As a Chinese American, I stand with the San Diego API Coalition in support of item 333, the resolution denouncing xenophobia and anti-Asian racism. It would be impossible to address racism and the role of local government without acknowledging the tragic death of unarmed black individuals in recent months, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Ahmaud Arbery. This pandemic is further exacerbating longstanding disparities in health, employment, access to justice, housing, and education outcomes. I urge the council members and the mayor to work together with our diverse communities to address the enduring social and political virus of anti-black bias and racism, and to work together with the community toward a more just and inclusive city and region. Thank you to Council President Georgia Gomez and to Council Member Monica Montgomery for advancing this resolution and for their commitment to racial justice. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Again, item 333 only. Your public testimony should only be about item 333 right now. We'll go to our next speaker. Hi, my name is Jennifer McNerland, District 1, and I am supporting item 333, denouncing xenophobia 
and denouncing all race. Does that conclude your comment? If so, please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Hi, my name is Jennifer. Hello. We'll go to our next public speaker, Gina O'Cleary. <clears throat> Hello, my name is MJ calling from District 8, and I'm calling to denounce xenophobia, and I encourage you guys to take this seriously and please listen to what the people are asking of you. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. We still have 20 people in the queue. Our next public speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. This is a wireless caller on item 333. Wireless caller. Matthew Vosbalakis. Just uh, my name is Matthew Vosbalakis. Just chiming in uh, for my support to adopt the resolution. Uh, thank you for bringing this forward, Council President and Council Member Montgomery. Thank you. Please hang up your phone and we'll go to the next public speaker. Our next public speaker is also a wireless caller. Hi, my name is Joe Wayneo and I'm a member of San Diego 350. I would like to thank the City Council for taking up this resolution denouncing anti-Asian racism and xenophobia and hope you will approve it. It is so sad that we live in a country in which our president foments this type of division and hatred. The only way we can move forward together is to unite and recognize our common humanity, no matter the color of our skin, our country of origin, religion, or the languages we speak. It is especially important for those of us who are white to denounce white supremacy in all its forms, including police violence against black people. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Melanie Hernandez. Hi, it's actually Emily Hernandez. Um, I don't know why it comes up under my mom's name, but um, my name's Emily Hernandez. I'm calling from San Diego City, and I'm calling in favor for item 333, adopting a resolution denouncing xenophobia. Um, I would like to acknowledge that we unfortunately live in a society where racism is abundant, whether or not it's blatant, although the blatancy has increased immensely. Due to the COVID-19 outbreak and pandemic, our AAAPI uh, community has fallen victim to even higher numbers of racism and abuse. We need to show our communities that we're all working together to end racism for everyone. Our system is absolutely failing people of color, including our AAAPI community, and it has been for quite some time. Um, with that said, I absolutely stand in support of this motion and with my AAAPI community, and I encourage the listeners on hold to focus on the item at hand and to also come back swinging during non-agenda items because those are very important also. Uh, thank you for hearing me today and for your community for your commitment to racial justice. Thank you. Please hang up your phone and we'll go to the next public speaker. We are calling from District 8 to demand um, xenophobia and item number 333 we stand with you we need everyone's support in this and district 8 is completely in support of this thank you thank you please hang up your phone and we'll go to the next public speaker we still have 16 callers in the queue our next public speaker is a wireless caller hello my name is Seska Kabuhat calling from Mission Hills District 3. Thank you for your time for me to speak today. I am a first-generation Filipino-American born and raised in the island of Guam. I'm calling in strong support of Resolution 333 and in working in solidarity with the San Diego Asian Pacific Islander Coalition. Thank you again for your time today. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Our next public speaker is 
Arthur Rodriguez. Hello, my name is Eric. I'm from National City. I wanted to call um, in support of this um, proposal, and uh, I think together we should stand and end all forms of racism. This includes every minority, including queer people and disabled people. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. We still have 15 people in the queue. Linda Baloney. Hi, this is Linda from University Heights. I just want to call in support for the Black Lives Matter movement and for all efforts to defund the San Diego Police Department. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. That sounded more like a non-agenda public comment. Please remember, we're taking testimony now on item 333 only. If you have a non-agenda comment, please monitor the meeting and you can call back at the appropriate time. We have a wireless caller. Hello? Yes, please make your statement about item 333. Oh, hi. Hello, my name is Christina Ree. I live in Bay Park and work in Liberty Station. Both are District 2, Jennifer Campbell's district. I also have a child in the San Diego Unified School District. I'm calling to support agenda item 333, uh, the resolution denouncing xenophobia xenophobia and anti-Asian racism due to COVID. This really should be a no-brainer. Um, and with this resolution and a budget on the table, City Council has the opportunity to both make an official position on racism and take the steps to back it up. And this matters because we have two pandemics in San Diego, COVID-19 and the pandemic of racism. And as seen with George Floyd, Ahmaud Aubrey, and Breonna Taylor, racism is a public health crisis, whether it's unequal health access, assaults on Asians, and police violence on black and brown bodies. Um, I urge you to not only support this resolution, but do the harder and higher impact work to commit in funding to those who are feeling the double pandemic Thank of COVID-19 and racism. Thank you. Thank please, you to Councilmember Georgia Gomez. Please your phone and we'll move to the next public speaker. We still have 16 speakers in the queue. Hello. Please make your statement on item 333. Hi, my name is Samantha Gundy and I'm from District 3. I'm calling in favor of agenda item 333. As a Jewish American who was scarred by the shooting in the synagogue in Poway, we need to quell the first signs of hate crimes before they become drastically worse. This is why we must push forward item 333, protecting AAPI communities. But if we have a police force who is rooted in white supremacy, there will never be, they will never be able to enforce resolutions like this. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone and we'll go to the next public speaker. Again, this is public testimony on item 333 only. Sasha is our next speaker. Hello, my name is Sasha Ballard. Uh, I live in Del Mar, California. And I'm talking about a non-agenda item. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Non-agenda public I'm, comment is not going to be taken until the end of the meeting. Please monitor the meeting. We already took 30 minutes at the beginning of the meeting. And if you monitor the meeting and call back at the appropriate time, non-agenda public comment will be taken at that time. This is testimony only on item 333. Item 333. Wireless call. Hello, I'm calling in regards to item 333. I, of course, enthusiastically endorse this motion to denounce xenophobia and anti-Asian racism due to COVID-19. I think this is incredibly important, and I cannot imagine how anyone would not endorse this motion. I also agree with the previous caller who called for direct material action. Denouncement will not do the AAPI community justice. We need to directly address the racism and xenophobia in our communities, and that begins with removing the violent and racist police force from our communities. The money being allocated to fund police violence in our community needs to be reallocated to handling COVID-19, which disproportionately affects communities of color, and to resources helping to build up 
the Asian and Pacific Islander community, the, Lat the Latinx community, the indigenous community, and of course, our black communities. I hope that you are truly listening to your constituents who are making it perfectly clear what action they want from you and Mayor Faulkner as well. Please consider defunding our police forces here. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker on item 333 only, please. Item 333 only. We have a wireless caller. Please make your statement. I'm going to end that call. We'll go to our next public speaker. And if you've already spoken on item 333, please don't call back into the line. Other items will have other opportunities to speak. Right now we're taking public testimony on item 333 only. Hi, I'm Candy and I'm with the API Coalition to support the resolution denouncing xenophobia and anti-Asian racism. I'm trembling from the way communities of color are suffering from COVID-19, especially the disproportionate infections and deaths among black, indigenous people of color communities. Also, this is a moment now more than ever for all of us to be in solidarity with black lives. The tragic deaths of black lives from Oscar Grant to Trayvon Martin to Tony McDade to George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Amrit Aubrey. And injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. I support this resolution as a start, but may it serve as a reminder we must always push for justice until all black lives are free. Resolution, yes, defund police now. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Our next public speaker is Judith Sanchez. Hello, this is Carlos Hernandez. I am calling to support item uh, 333 because I think that um, policymakers at this point should not be deciding whether or not to be uh, to denounce racism. Like the other callers said, I think this is a no-brainer, and I truly question why you are in office if you are questioning this. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. We still have 13 speakers in the queue. Remember, public testimony should only be on item 333. And if you've already spoken on item 333, you should not be in the queue again. Matt, Matthew Fairchild? I'll try another wireless caller. Hi, my name is Adele Helwa, and I live in District 8, and we're all in support of denouncing Article 3.3 um, and defunding this whole budget. It seems like a pretty racist budget, and right now we should be focused on saving and supporting all of black lives and Asian Americans and the Latinos of this community. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone and we'll go to the next public speaker. Our next public speaker. It's a wireless caller. Hi, my name is Darlissa Gill. I'm calling from San Diego and I'm calling for Article 333 um, to denounce xenophobia and to defund the police. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone and we'll go to the next public speaker. Our next public speaker is Lori Warren. Hi there. My name is Erin Warren and I'm from District, District 3 in San Diego in North Park. Um, and I'm calling for the resolution to denounce xenophobia and anti-Asian racism arising due to fears of COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and affirming the city's commitment to the well-being and safety of Asian Pacific under communities. I'm also calling on defunding the police as a result of um, the latest tensions in the city um, and calling for these establishments to be um, defunded. Thank you. 
Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. We still have 10 uh, folks that are in the queue. This is to speak to item 333 only. Try a wireless caller. You've been unmuted. Hi, good afternoon. My name is um, Carl Diaz. Uh, I I just wanted to talk about um, how I don't support uh, Mayor Faulkner's proposal, and I hope you guys I'm reject sorry, it. sorry, sir. That's a non-agenda um, public case. comment item. Non-agenda public comment will be taken at the end of the agendized meeting. Please monitor the meeting and call back during the non-agenda public comment period. This is for item 333 only. If you're in the phone queue right now, you should be speaking to item 333 only. Item 333, I'm gonna go through and see. It looks like I have some uh, numbers that are not connected is... Uh, Hi, my name is uh, Julian Liu and I would like to speak on item 333. Um, to uh, reject Mayor uh, Falconer's budget to increase SBPD spending, the People Demands I'm Fund. Sorry, sir, that's to be not a part of item 333. Item 333 is a resolution. You're talking about funding. Please call back during the non agenda public comment period. We're taking speakers on item 333 specifically. Wireless caller? I'll try another wireless caller. We still have 10 folks that are in the queue. Wireless caller, you've been Hello, on my name is... Go ahead. My name is Dinara Bernal. Um, I'm calling to say that I support item 333 because I stand in solidarity for all communities that are discriminated against, Asian Pacific Islanders included. Unfortunately, this country's leadership encourages xenophobia consistently in the media, and this meeting should honor that by taking grand initiative and meeting the people's needs by defunding and restructuring the police rather than following a rigid political agenda that's dismissive of the white supremacy that has been present in America's police force since its very inception. Thank you for your time. Please hang up your phone. Again, these should be comments only directed to item 333. If you have a non-agenda item, please monitor the meeting and call back during the appropriate time. We have eight speakers still in the queue. Wireless caller. Wireless caller, you've been unmuted. I'm going to try the next wireless caller. Again, people should be in the queue to speak to item 333. Wireless caller, you've been unmuted. I'll try Esperanza Curie. Esperanza or Esperanza Curie? Hello, we're here for the non-agenda public comment. No, non-agenda public comment will be at the end meeting. of the agendized meeting. So if you are monitoring the meeting, please call back. When the agendized items are concluded, there will be a time we will notice and we will let you know that it's time to call in for non-agenda public comment. But right now, this is item 333. Item 333, I still have seven callers in the queue. I'll try a wireless caller on item 333. This is Bob Kazuski. Uh, racism is horrible, and it should be opposed on a social level and on a personal level. But this council is a legislative body and not a body of moral guidance. While I believe this item was added with good intentions, it is inappropriate for this body to be wading into issues of morality. Where would it end? If you want to pass a law, then pass a law. If you want to speak as individuals, then please do so. Otherwise, I'd advise this council to stay out of matters where you have no legislative authority. Thank you. 
Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker, Lee Chai Annette. Hi. As a Korean American student at UC San Diego, I stand in support of item 333. Um, I also want to say that it's important to recognize the individual uh, challenges that every group faces um, and to lift each other up. And I'm in full support of 333. I support um, divesting from the police in order to invest in uh, communities of color. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We still have eight speakers in the queue. These speakers should be on item 333. Item 333. I have a wireless caller. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Kelvin Barrios. I'm a resident of District 9, a district rich in traditions and culture thanks to the many contributions of our communities of color, including our Asian Pacific Islander community. Today I'm calling to support this resolution denouncing xenophobia and anti-Asian racism that has emerged in the wake of the novel coronavirus. Our communities are already hurting from economic inequality, health disparities, they live with anxiety and fear of contracting COVID-19, and the xenophobia, rhetoric, and racist acts against our API community has only caused a further divide in our neighborhoods and our city. This resolution will help build more inclusiveness within our communities and ensure the well-being of the API community. I ask our council members to adopt this resolution in solidarity to move forward as a one unified city. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker. Our next public speaker, I'm going to try a wireless caller. I would like to enthusiastically endorse this motion. I would also like to say that police violence is undeniably related and intertwined with this issue. So, yes, they are related. Dennis Carolina was a Filipino man who was murdered in his own backyard by San Diego Police Department officer Brad Keith. If you truly want to keep our Asian and Pacific Islander communities safe, you must def defund our racist and violent police force. Please hang up your phone. We'll go to the next public speaker, uh, Martin Overstreet or Martha Overstreet. Hello, my name is Blair Overstreet, and um, I'm calling in to enthusiastically support this resolution. Um, and I want to speak to one of the other callers to say that um, and to say to you that I, I disagree that you need to only speak to legislative issues. There are things that we do all the time that are shaping the culture and the tenor of our community, and that is actually your responsibility. So I would ask you to please vote yes for this, to support our Asian American communities um, in this moment, and that you, know, you set the tone of what it is that we are going to be as a city, both in the way that you address this question and in the way that you uh, address our budget, which is our moral document of our city. Thank you. Thank you. Please hang up your phone. I believe that that concludes the public testimony, but let me go through. I have a few um, ghost lines that are left, so I'm going to actually have to do some maintenance on the system while the council members make their comments. Thank you. Thank you to the city clerk and to the public. Uh, for engaging in this, what I think it's a, it's a critical resolution, as some of the uh, public stated, this is about setting a strong town, and that's the intention of today. Um, although there were a lot, of, a lot of comments about supporting the resolution, but actually acknowledging other members of our community of color, there's no doubt that right now we have an environment that has, uh, that has risen in terms of acknowledging um, the challenges uh, that are uh, brown and black and uh, API and multi uh, communities of color are facing right now. And I think COVID is really elevating the importance and shining a light to a lot of the disparities that we have in this, in this nation. And I think that what we're seeing right now is the outcome of that. So I recognize and, and, and why we're having this engagement from the public, it's, it's totally understood. Um, and and I'm, I'm mindful of that. But I'm also wanting to honor the space of this particular item, which is to really have uh, the city uh, have a statement, a strong statement that really is denouncing the the the, hate, the, the rhetoric, the hate, hateful rhetoric that is being targeted to our um, Asian 
Pacific Islander community. So that was really the intent of this discussion, and I really want to honor that space. Um, so, I, but I also within that I recognize that there's there's a lot going on in our in our communities of color, and uh, we've been um, <clears throat> trying to figure out how to do more as a council. And at least for me, I'm very committed in making sure that we do that. Uh, so I um, want to thank my my staff, my team, uh, along with Councilmember Montgomery and your team for working on bringing this forward and working really collectively with the San Diego Asian Pacific Islander Coalition, who in fact were the ones that approached us to create this resolution. So this is an honor for, to them and the work that they've been doing to ensure that um, we are acknowledging what is occurring right now to the community. Um, so thank you for the work that the San Diego Pacific Islander Coalition is doing, the, your tireless work on organizing, advocating for the diverse Asian Pacific Islander community here in San Diego. And I am honored for working with you and bringing this resolution forward. I especially want to thank the people who have shared their stories of harassment and targeting. No human being, no human being should have to experience discrimination as a result of a virus. A virus that in fact does not discriminate on the basis of race, ethnicity, or a country of origin. COVID-19 pandemic has had severe impacts on the quality of life for communities across San Diego in many ways, especially low-income communities and communities of color. I am proud to stand as a strong ally with the API community today, tomorrow, and as long as it takes. May, as you all know, was Asian Pacific Islander American Heritage Month, and the APIs are a broad, diverse population in San Diego, representing numerous cultures, countries, languages, and much more. We should be honoring them and lifting lifting up the community, not scapegoating it. This resolution being, uh, being in front of you to the council today is not a solution, but a rather a step towards addressing ongoing issues around xenophobia and anti-Asian sentiments. I believe that the city should be on the record as denouncing xenophobia and hateful acts steaming from COVID-19. With that said, I am honored to make the motion to adopt this resolution before us today, and I urge my council to also support it. Um, we'll now go to Council Member Montgomery. Uh, thank you so much, Council President. Um, I, I do think that it's important for us as a city, as the eighth largest city in the nation, a nation that is dealing with the pandemic and that has affected us in so many different ways on so many different levels to make this announcement, um, to make this commitment to our API community. Um, I think it's extremely important. I also think that um, we also have to recognize the time that we're in right now where um, the effects of the pandemic have um, really sh shown us um, what has been there, but what we don't like to talk about. And now we have no choice. If we're going to move forward as a nation, state, region, city, we have to talk about these things. Um, and it is our responsibility. Um, morality matters, character matters, integrity matters. And as leaders, I think it is our responsibility to do this. Um, it, it, uh, it is also our responsibility to, to put our money where our mouth is as leaders. Um, you know, in my uh, faith tradition, we'd say your, um, where your treasure is, there's your heart. And so we do, we, we understand and recognize, I believe that we have a responsibility to do that well. I'm happy to uh, second this motion. And I just want to call out really quickly number eight in the resolution, which um, it talks about uh, small business relief. Um, we, I, I want to just uh, say that we do have a strategic alliance um, with uh, the uh, Asian Business Association, the Black Chamber and the Hispanic Chamber that are all um, wanting to work with the city to get that relief out to um, uh, businesses that may not uh, received it, may not have received it through some of the routes that we have already provided. And so I do want to honor that and also say that in these, in these times, as bad as they are, there are so many of us that are coming together when it has to do with 
um, economic opportunity, police reform, um, keeping each other safe. We are coming together at a time like this, and, and I'm very hopeful what I see that will come out of this okay. So I'm happy to second the motion. Thank you for including me in this. Thank you. Council President Pro Tempore. Uh, thank you, Council President. I vote yes. Council Member Campbell. Council Member Campbell, we can't hear you if you're speaking. I will go to Council Member Ward and we'll come back to you, Council Member Campbell. Thank you, Council President, and I appreciate you and your staff uh, being able to work and author this. I think it is critically important, especially as the experiences that we've been seeing as a community um, have particularly been targeting the API community. We do know that we've had a long and poor history of derogatory and racist comments uh, for those of Asian heritage in the United States and definitely here in California. And as the father of two children that have API heritage, I think every day that I want to see a future for them now uh, where they will not know that kind of experience. The stigmatization that alienates our Asian American communities, it often leads to violence and to outright discrimination. It's incumbent on us as local leaders to publicly condemn all of those who use this COVID pandemic as a platform to spread hate to anyone in the API community, but of course more broadly, and I recognize all of the uh, interconnectedness of so much of the public comment here today. Uh, it's not just about this moment because of the COVID response. It's about all time, and it's not just about the API community. We in San Diego condemn all forms of xenophobia on all of our uh, communities here, whether you're a community of color, LGBTQ community, uh, disabled community, or any other uh, great part of the San Diego fabric um, that, that make us uh, the, uh, the one San Diego that we are. So um, I absolutely stand in support of the community members and small businesses and support today's resolution, committing the city to do more to support marginalized communities. I think it's critical that we're on the record and this kind of a resolution goes a long way to officially put the city of San Diego on that record. Thank you. Thank you. Council Member Campbell. Thank you. I wanna thank Council President Gomez and Council Member Montgomery for bringing this very important resolution forward. And thank you to the members of the San Diego API Coalition for advocating, organizing, and fighting against prejudice, racism, and all acts of violence towards API communities and all other communities of Americans. None of us are alone. We are in this together. Those of us who believe in each other are actually the vast majority. Please, all lives matter, black lives matter, Asian lives matter. We are all in this together. And those of us who are white, some of us have stood up for years and decades to stop racism in this country. It's critical that the city take leadership by supporting our Asian American communities and send a message that discrimination and hate-motivated behavior will not be tolerated. We are truly blessed to live in a city with a diverse population. I stand in solidarity with all communities of color, and especially today with our API community. Over 440,000 members of this community right here in San Diego County. All my activism over the past six decades has been in support of making equality and justice the reality for all Americans. It does not matter your religion, color, sexuality, gender, country of origin, economic circumstances. You, you are in as an individual. We are all one people. We must be united, respect each other, and behave with dignity toward one another. Follow the golden rule, the tenet of all religions. I firmly denounce any and all forms of racial discrimination, and I will continue to stand and actively work to fight for equal rights for all people. I am proud to support this resolution today. Thank you. Council Member Kersey. Thank you, Council President. I appreciate the viewpoints and perspectives uh, that we've heard from today. I vote yes. Council Member Katis absent. Council Member Sherman. Council Member Moreno. Thank you for the presentation and thank you to the community advocates who asked that the city adopt this resolution. We're all experiencing this challenging time together. Um, it is reprehensible that people are targeting the API community with threats of violence. 
The API community has a rich history in San Diego, and their contributions run deep in just about every area of the city. They are our city employees, teachers, nurses, neighbors, students, and our business owners. The city of San Diego stands in solidarity with the API community. We need to make sure that the API owned businesses and individuals can easily access assistance the city offers, ranging from small business relief fund programs to public safety services to education outreach. Ensuring the city supports community-based organizations that help highlight and uplift the contributions, the contributions of API-owned businesses and organizations is critical. I absolutely support this a resolution, and that concludes my comments. Thank you, and uh, I'm obviously proud of bringing this forward. I want to thank my colleagues for supporting this and standing with the community. Clerk, please call the roll. And that passes unanimously with Council Member Kate Absent. Clerk, please introduce item 